Good morning students. My name is M. Sadashu, Assistant Professor in Chemistry and HOD, JBR College, Uvina Delhi. Our college will be comes under the Vijayanagara Sri Krishna Deva University, Bellari, under that. I will be talk, I uh, will be discuss the syllabus of uh, BSc, the fourth SEM. BSc, the fourth SEM, that is a chapter is in the inorganic chemistry. The last chapter is oxidation reduction. Oxidation and reduction. So, what is oxidation and reduction? The oxidation means any metal can lose a electron. Any metal can lose a electron will be called as oxidation. And any metal will be gains the electrons will be called as the reduction. Will be called as the reduction. That is called as a reductionism. Suppose, for example, suppose a simple a reaction, sir. For example, if you take what is called as the H2 S, the H2 S will be reacted with a chlorine to form. 2HCl plus S will be liberated. So, then it will be called as 2KMG, that is plus what is called as oxygen to form a compound that is 2MG. This is 2MG. And at the same time, the reduction reactions will be called as the ferrous oxide Fe2O3 plus 3CO gives rise to be what is called as 2FE plus what is called as 3CO2 the 3 the CO2 is and at the same time Br2 plus H2 Br2 plus H2 gives rise to the 2HBr the 2HBr is so the first two reactions will be undergoes oxidation is that and the second two reactions will be undergoes reduction is so here they will be called as an oxidation and reduction the processes. Then we will be come across the different examples of oxidation and reduction reactions should be the like this. Is there. So that's you can write down that the acidic find the potassium permanganate or the potassium dichromate. They will be undergoes oxidation and reduction process. I tell you the examples. What is the definition of oxygen? What is the definition of reduction? Is there. So that's <coughs> when a potassium permanganate will be reacted with the sulfuric acid to form a compound K2SO4 plus 2MnSO4 plus 3H2O plus 5 nascent oxygen atoms. The 5 nascent, nascent oxygen atoms, the second reaction, that is FeSO4 will be reacted with the sulfuric acid and it gains the electrons from that is the potassium permanganate. The potassium permanganate loses the high nascent oxygen atoms. So these nascent oxygen atoms will be consumed by the ferrosulfate to form Fe2SO4 at price plus H2O will be liberated. Now the second equation will be multiplied by that is a five. It will multiplied by the five. <coughs> now we can write down the overall equation. You can write down the overall equation. So these nascent oxygen atoms and these nascent oxygen atoms will get cancelled. So we have to get the equation is 2K minus 4 plus 5 plus 3, 8 esters of 4. 5 plus 3, the 8 esters of 4. Plus 5 into 10 is a 10 FES of 4. Gives rise to be that is called as K2SO4 plus 2MNSO4 plus what is called as a 5 FE2SO4 thrice plus the, plus the 8 H2O. The 8, the H2O. So this is called as a, the overall reaction. It will be undergoes what is called as a redox reaction. This is called as a redox reaction. What is the redox reaction means here? The first reaction is that is a 2K minus 4 plus 3 is to support this first to be a KPS of 4 plus 2 minus 4 plus 3 is 2 plus 5 is So the first reaction will be undergoes a, that is a, this will be undergoes what is called as oxidation and the second one it will be undergoes what is called as reductionism. The second reaction will be 
the reduction. So the reduction means uh, the reaction rate depends. Uh, the iron oxidation state is plus two is there. The plus two will be converted into the plus three, hence it will be called as a uh, will be undergoes the reduction. It will undergoes the reduction. Whereas in this reaction, the oxidation state of uh, that is uh, manganese uh, is plus seven will be changes to the plus two. So hence it will be called as oxidation. Hence it will be called as the oxidation is. So this is the first example for the oxidation and the reduction reaction. Then the second one is what is called as the <coughs> the second reaction is this one is that when I acidified the potassium dichromate K two Cr two O seven plus the four has to support gives rise to the K2SO4 plus CR2SO4 at price plus 4H2O plus 3 nascent oxygen atoms. The 3 nascent oxygen atoms. Next, the same reaction is FSO4 plus H2SO4 plus nascent oxygen atoms to form a compound Fe2SO4 price plus H2O will be liberated. So this is called as uh, the second equation will be multiplied by five. <coughs> Sorry, three. Second equation will be multiplied by uh, three. Is, uh. So now we can write down the overall reaction. So here the first reaction will be under the oxidation and the second reaction will be under the reduction. Is, uh. So why will be under the reduction? Means uh, in the ferrous sulfate, the oxidation state of the iron is plus two. Is there the plus two oxidation state will be converted into plus three. Means oxidation will be increased by the plus one, one unit, hence it will be called as a, that is, it will be plus the reduction is. Then the chromium is the oxidation state is a plus six is there. So the plus six will be changes to that is a plus three oxidation state, hence it will be called as undergoes oxidation. The plus and dichromate will undergoes oxidation, whereas the parasulfate will undergoes the reduction. The reduction is the gaining of electrons or the gaining of electrons, and oxidation is the then losing of electrons uh, that is called as oxidation and reduction processes. Uh, oxidation and reduction process. Then we will be having simple examples. Suppose uh, you can write down this equation is uh, that is K2Cr2O7 plus uh, 6 the FeSO4 plus uh, what is called as 7 H2SO4. These nascent oxygen atoms and these nascent oxygen atoms will get cancelled. So you can write down the overall equation is uh, the K2SO4 plus uh, Cr2SO4 at price plus 7H2O plus 3Fe2SO4 price. 3Fe2SO4 at price. So in this the equation, the first one will be undergoes what is called as oxidation and the second reaction will be undergoes the reduction itself. So will be undergoes the reduction itself. So this is a lengthy equation for examples of oxidation and reduction processes. Then the second one is that what is called as as the that is what is called as acid base the reaction sorry the oxidation and reduction reactions oxidation and reduction process. Suppose a neutral a sodium atom it loses a, a one electron it forms a Na plus one plus one electron will be liberated. So further, the neutral chloride atom gains one electron from the sodium atom to become Cl minus one. So here this compound the sodium will be undergoes a this is a process oxidation and it will be undergoes a process is a reduction is a. So it forms so finally that is Na plus one plus Cl minus one to form a compound NaCl to form a compound the Na the Cl is. So similarly you will be having <coughs> then we will be having if you take the different examples of a sodium iron so then if you write it the aluminium oxide that is this reaction will be like this is the aluminium oxide 
that is 4 a l plus what is called as a 3 o 2 gives rise to be that is 2 a l to o 3 the 3 a l to the o 3 is so here it will be actually what happens the first reaction is this one is a so that is what is called as the aluminium atom it loses the electrons to form AL plus 3 plus what is called as the 3 electrons will be liberated. The 3 electrons will be liberated. The second equation will be multiplied by the 4. The second equation will be multiplied by the 4 is. Then we will be having oxygen atom. We will be having the oxygen atom plus it will be gains 2 electrons. It will be gains at 2 electrons to form O minus 2. This is uh, multiplied by 6. Then you can write down if you combine these two, you will be getting uh, 4 AL plus 3 O2 gives rise to 2 AL to O3. So aluminium will be undergoes what is called as oxidation and uh, the, it will be, the oxygen atom will be undergoes the reduction. So this is called as uh, the oxidation, the reduction uh, reactions. Okay. Next, you will be come across uh, what is called as uh, <coughs> in this chapter. <coughs> the next topic is uh, a redox cycles. In this chapter, we will build a redox cycle. So, what is a redox cycle? So, the redox cycle, a redox cycle. So this redox cycle, that is uh, any equations will undergo oxidation reduction process will be continuous as there. So that is called as the redox cycle. Is there. So it can inverse the three steps is there. The first one is sublimation. The first one is a sublimation. Second one is uh, what is called as ionization. Ionization and third one will be called as the hydration. The third one will be called as the hydration. Okay. So, what the first of all, what is some the sublimation is? The sublimation means any solid substance, any the solid substance will be converted into a gaseous substance that will be called as a sublimation is. That is called as a sublimation. The energy required for the process is enthalpy, and of the the sublimation represented by delta H as zero. The sublimation will be represented by Delta F0, the yes, this is called as a, a sublimation. Means uh, any substance, like for example, calcium or the magnesium or the iron, whatever it may be, so that the metal will be converted into the solid will be converted into gaseous form that is called as sublimation. Is, uh, that is called as a sublimation. Then, second one is the second process is ionization. What is this ionization? Is, uh, the ionization means. Uh, this is equal to ionization energy. Sir. Means uh, when uh, no, one or more electrons will be removed from the neutral gaseous atom and it forms a positive ion. It forms a positive ion that is called as ionization. Sir. That is called as ionization. The ionization means that uh, the gaseous atom will be converted into the ionic atom. Suppose uh, in the first step, uh, the sodium the metal solid will be converted into the sodium gaseous the metal. Sir. Okay, that is called as a sublimation. Sir. Then in the ionization means uh, the sodium gaseous atom will be converted into the ionic Na plus one gaseous ion. This is called as ionization. And the last one is uh, what is called as hydration process means uh, when a gaseous ion is formed, uh, it is hydrolyzed to aqueous solution. Is, uh, so this uh, what is called as uh, the cycle will be like this is uh, for the these three processes: a uh, uh, sublimation, ionization, the hydration will be like this. Okay. So we can write down the first one that is ionization the energy m of a gas to get this is m of a solid. This is called as enthalpy of sublimation. Enthalpy of a sublimation. So this is called as ionization energy. 
this is called as ionization of the energy. So to get what is called as a EM of plus a gaseous emitter. So further this metal will be converted into that is called as a enthalpy of enthalpy of enthalpy of the hydration enthalpy of the hydration so that is a m of that is m of plus the aqueous aqueous plus electron will be removed so this is called as So this is called as redox cycle. So the redox cycle means when I mean, a solid metal will be converted into a gaseous metal. That is called first step is uh, this is a uh, first step that is called as enthalpy of sublimation. The second step is uh, when a gaseous uh, metal will be converted into gaseous the ion. This is called as ionization of energy. This is what is called as the second step. And the third step is uh, the enthalpy of hydration. The third step is enthalpy of hydration. So that is called as M plus aqueous is the gaseous will be converted into the aqueous form, the, the electron will be removed. So this is called the third process. These three process energies will be like this. Sir. So the energies of all these the systems of all the enthalpy, the cycle, sorry, the redox cycle of the laser, this system will be like this. Sir. These energies will be like this. Sir. That is energy E is equal to that is delta H S plus I that is ionization of energy plus what is called as a delta H the aqueous delta H the aqueous that is energy E is equal to delta H S means sublimation energy I E will be called as ionization of energy delta H aqueous means the energy of hydration. Delta H the aqueous means energy of hydration. IE will be called as ionization energy and delta H S will be called as the sublimation. The energy can get it the redox cycles. We have to get it a redox cycles. The next topic in this chapter is that is called as <coughs> the next topic is this one is what is called as the redox stability in water. The redox stability in water. Redox a stability redox stability in a water redox a stability in water is so that is the reduction of water and oxidation of water so here what is the redox stability in water means the water molecule is H2O itself this H2O is undergoes the both the process will be called as oxidation as well as the reduction is there so these reactions will be the like this is there the first one it will be called as undergoes the oxidation the first step is it will be undergoes the oxidation will be the like this is there <coughs> So this water molecule 
that is its energy is uh, what is called as a plus uh, the 1 point plus 1.229229 the volts is. then 1m the base solution the 1m a base solution 1m a base solution so this 1m the base solution will be having that is uh, the half O2 plus uh, 2H plus sorry plus uh, the H2O plus H2O plus uh, the two electrons will be liberated to form a compound uh, what is called as 2OH minus 1 so its energy to the power of 0 is equal to the plus plus 0 0.40 volts 0 0.40 volts so the first of all it will get to the oxidation of water redox temperature in water is a like this is a so we have to consider the three solutions that is a neutral oxidation the 1m acid solution that is oxidation 1m base solution oxidation 1m solution acid solution 1m a base solution and neutral oxidation so here the first of all what is oxidationism it is rest to be that is half O2 plus 2H plus plus 2 so electrons to form H2O. Its energy is e to the power of 0. e to the power of 0 is equal to plus sub 0 0.18 per volts. And second one is 1 m acid solution that is half O2 plus 2H plus plus 2 so electrons. It is rest to be H2O. e to the power of 0 is equal to plus sub 1.229 volts. And last one is 1 m base solution is half O2 plus H2O plus 2 electrons. It is rest to be. So that is what is 2OH minus. Its energy is a e to the power of 0 is equal to 0 0.40 volts. Then the redox or the reduction of water is. This is all about the oxidation of water. And then the next is a reduction of water. The next is what is called as a reduction of water. Is. So the reduction of water. Reduction of water. What will be the undergoes reduction of water? So the reduction is same, that is a neutral solution, then 1m acid solution and 1m what is called as a base solution. The first one is a neutral solution. Then we will have 1m the acid solution and last one is 1m a base solution. 1m a base solution. So, what is the neutral solution? 1m acid solution, 1m base solution. 1m means 1 molar solution of base, 1 molar solution of acid solution and a neutral a solution itself. So, in the neutral solution of water, it forms a, that is what is called as H2O. It forms the H2O. 